A.B. De Villiers, let's talk about him. Uh, there was, as you know, we all watched the game and we all watch it with a lot of interest. And uh, Ajit, who is a big RCB fan, as I've invoked him many times on the show, drives me home as well because he idolizes me and everything. Uh, but the, the one thing he pointed out about A.B. De Villiers, we were talking, he was saying A.B. De Villiers looks like a guy who's not played, you know, too much competitive cricket over the last year. But there was one which he hid behind and, and that's when Ajit looked and said, he's, in form now, he's not been playing that behind the wicket too much. Uh, in the past few games, and he's doing it in this game, and I thought that was a that was a good observation. Yeah, I think that it's a good observation because that's when AB's at his best. He just gets down and uses the pace and flicks it on that on side. But it was an important innings for AB because, as much as a great player he is, he hasn't played well. Hmm. You know, and the fact that he's not playing a lot of cricket, you know, it's hard to get back into the, the yeah. kind of pace of the pressure, uh, the situation of playing against quality. And that's why he's our MPL hero of the match, 59 of 38. But more importantly, I think the most important symbol there is the dot against the 59. He was not oh, out. Absolutely, yep. yeah. And that, that, that gives you confidence a huge amount when, when you can be there at the end yeah. and you're shaking the opposition's hand. I always said any young player, that, that feeling of winning is great. Mm. But the feeling of being out there winning as the batsman hitting the final runs is the best feeling that you can have in the game. Yeah. Because you not only <laughs> see the ball come off the bat, and you see it going to the gap and you go, I've just won the game. You get the first chance to shake their hands. Yeah. And that's a wonderful feeling. Now, don't get out with three or four runs by playing a stupid shot and trying to be this superhero and smack it into the stands or just win the game. Yeah. That feeling of winning the game being out there is, is something that you can never, ever replace. So make sure that if you've got the opportunity, try and be there at try the end. Try and do it. And Virat's innings as well. I mean, you may see, <coughs> what was it, 67 or 53? Uh, you, you may see that and you go, all right, that's not that spectacular a strike rate. But he did, he, he was playing to that plan and we spoke about that in the com box saying he wants to just take it to exactly. the end. Exactly, that's all he's doing. He's saying, I'm not going to let the run rate climb over eight and a half, nine, nine and a half and over. And they kept it there till 14, 15, 16. They took it into the safe area. See, right at the end, you can chase 10, 12 and over much easier. Yeah. But you know, if you have that 12 and over in the 11th over or 12th over, so they played to their plans. and. See, the interesting thing about AB is, I don't think this is the great AB in his great days. Yeah. This is a version 2. Like, Gale has now matured. You see a version 2 of Gale. He's no longer the Gale that you saw three years, four years yeah. back. But he has matured in a different player. And maybe that's what we need from AB. We can't judge him against... Joy, AB will have that moment like we're seeing Chris Gale is having. He's yeah. not at that stage yet. Yeah, he's, he's not at that stage where you think that AB could be playing his last year. Chris Gale, you know, I'm not being disrespectful yeah. to him, but... You feel that every year he's got to be his last, his yeah. body, everything about the way that he goes. And with AB, he will get to a stage, you'll sit in his room and go, you know what, this cricket career that I've loved, it's coming to an end. Yeah. So I might as well enjoy it. Yeah. And when he gets to that stage and admits to himself that it's coming to an end, he'll probably play a bit longer because he'll just get himself yeah, into that just... mindset. He'll gather all the experience that he's had for 15, 20 years, however long he's played, and he'll put it straight into his body and go, you know what? I'm going to show everyone for as, as long as I'm playing out how good a player I am. Mean, it, it, it may be for the remainder of this tournament, it might be next year, who knows. But he'll certainly have that moment again that we'll see consistency, he'll get the big runs and he'll be winning games for the teams that he plays around the world. But AB, when he gets going, or when he hits those, I mean, he's he's been called Mr. 360. I think for a large part of this tournament, he's sort of been Mr. 180, Mr. 210 maximum. <laughs> Today, <laughs> Today we saw a lot yes, more of the 360 today, we did. Uh, and if you keep seeing that, and if RCB fans keep seeing that, I think they'll be happy. And there's somebody else who's got some fabulous points today and is also on our leaderboard because of that. Our oh, super team uh, hero on MPL. Uh, We've shade. got back the shades. Oh, Kari, 395. Look at you, go burning it. Ah, boy. That's almost a 400. Bukhari, I don't know if you've ever seen Joe Root's brother, Billy, but you look <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> 